All right, guys, welcome back to another episode here on Grow the Earth. As you can see in front of me here, we've got our lettuce that we've been growing. And this is actually our high intensity growing end. Uh, and what this means is if you didn't watch the other video uh, where we planted these, is we actually seeded these uh, lettuce very tightly in a row. And what that allows is the plant to grow up and out this way and not necessarily out this way. Have a lot of lettuce in a small area. It's going to keep our weeds down because they're not going to have any sunlight because of how much sun that this is blocking out from the actual ground underneath. It's going to require less water because you don't have the sun and the wind pulling the, the moisture out of the ground. And it is uh, just a really easy way to grow a bunch of tasty lettuce. And what's even easier is when we go to harvest it, is we're simply going to harvest it with a pair of scissors. We're not actually going to pull these out. Because the good thing about lettuce is, is you can remove from it and it will continue to grow. And with these lettuce, we're actually just going to take a, a big handful. We're going to take our scissors and come in and cut off what we want. Now, the other good thing about this is if I don't want to pull, if I don't want to get a whole heap and bunch of lettuce, I don't have to. I don't have to take a whole head of lettuce. I don't have to worry about that I've only got so many heads of lettuce and that I'm going to run out of lettuce before the season's over. Because once you cut this off level, it's going to come back. It's going to continue to grow. And I'll be able to cut off of this again. Uh, the one thing that you have to remember is you need a sharp instrument, either a very sharp pair of scissors, or you can actually use a very sharp, uh, you know, uh, long uh, a fillet knife, a uh, butcher knife, a large chef's knife, or something like that, because we want these, these cuts to be as clean as we can. We don't want to have any jagged edges because that's going to stress the plant out. A good sharp cut edge is going to be the less stress, the least amount of stress that we can put on these plants. So this is one way we grew our lettuce and this is how we harvest this end of the bed. Now down there, we actually planted for heads, which means that the harvest down there is going to take into a lot different scope than it is here. All right, guys, so here we are on the other end of our bed, and this is where we planted so that we can do, we can pull whole heads of lettuce. Now, we're not quite restricted to that because what we can do with these heads is we can actually come in here and we can cut off the lower leaves and we can harvest from that if we don't want a whole head of lettuce. So we have a little bit of versatility with this. Uh, plus, if we do want a whole head, all we have to do is reach down, grab a hold of it, and just pull it out. Now, one thing about pulling these whole heads like this is if you leave these these roots on, this plant will actually stay crisper and it will look better for a lot longer than if you come in here and cut it off and leave the roots in the ground. Uh, because these roots, even though they are outside of the ground, will actually continue to take up moisture. So, guys, that's our lettuce bed. If there's something more that you want to see about what's going on here, uh, I'll refer you to the video that is going to be right here. Uh, and actually, I'll put that up there earlier in the video too. That way, if you want to click on it, then you can. If you want to click on it now, you can. And uh, you can see how we did our spacing here and how we planted to get our separation here, how much the separation needs to be for these to grow really well. So guys, as always, I ask you to pray over your family pray over your garden, and have a great day.